To measure a patient's height and weight, first determine if he can bear his own weight and stand safely on a scale. Mr. Gold, I need to get your height and weight, okay? Okay. Are you able to stand on your own? Yes. Okay. If the patient is unable to stand, use a wheelchair or bed scale to weigh the patient. Weigh the patient on the same scale at the same time of day and wearing the same type of clothing each time. Explain that you're going to measure his weight and height and that you'd like him to void before you weigh him. Be sure the patient is wearing lightweight clothing. Provide assistance with removing his shoes and socks if needed and have him put on skid-proof socks. For an accurate measurement, make sure the beam scale has been calibrated. Before you begin, slide each weight over to zero. Assist the patient up onto the platform. Ask him to stay still and distribute his weight evenly on both feet. Adjust the scale weights until the balance indicator rests in the middle. Record the patient's weight to the nearest tenth of a kilogram or about a fourth of a pound. Good. Now you're ready to measure the patient's height. Ask him to okay. stand erect and distribute his body weight evenly on his feet. His arms should hang freely at his sides with his palms facing his thighs. Look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Ask the patient to look straight ahead. Take a deep breath and hold the position as you bring the horizontal bar down firmly to the top of his head. Measure his height to the nearest tenth of a centimeter or eighth of an inch. To read the measurement accurately, your eyes must be level with the bar. Let me help you down. If the patient is alert but unable to stand, you can roll her wheelchair right onto a platform scale. If the scale is digital, begin with a reading of zero and select the unit of measurement. On this scale, either pounds or kilograms. I'm going to push you on the scale to get your weight, okay? Okay. Position the wheelchair on the scale and lock the wheels to keep it from rolling. You'll need to have established the weight of the chair and any cushions first. For consistency, always weigh the patient in the same chair. I'm going to take your weight, okay? Wait okay. for the trigger or simply watch for the reading to appear on the digital display. If a bed scale is used, you will need to discuss the procedure with the patient and calibrate the scale. Put your head down. Is that Place okay? the sling on the arms of the scale. Calibrate the scale to zero. After you obtain the reading, remove the sling. Roll the patient onto one side and place the sling beneath her. Use good body mechanics and get the help of an assistant. Hold that, and I'm gonna leave this out. Miss Wilder, let's roll on the other side towards Cindy. There you go. Okay. Okay. You can go back on your back. How you doing? Okay. Okay. Lay your legs down flat. Okay. okay. And we're gonna get the machine. Okay, Ms. Wilder, I'm going to have you cross your arms over your chest. Position the scale at the bedside. Okay, lower the bed. Lower the bed for you. And lock the wheels. Okay, and I'm going to lower the arm. Then, attach the sling to the scale. Okay. 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 Okay, we ready? And raise it slowly until the patient clears the bed. Okay, you're going to feel your legs get lifted. You're fine, just relax. Keep going. Okay. Okay, now we good. Ask her to stay still okay? as you read the digital weight. Okay. 
Okay. Now lower the patient gently onto the bed. Detach the sling from the scale. Roll towards me. Roll the patient over the sling and remove it from beneath her. Some hospital beds have scales built into them. These scales allow you to obtain a weight with the patient in the bed. No matter which method you use, compare the patient's current height and weight with his or her previous measurements. Okay, Ms. Wilder, we'll be back to check on you, but if you need me, there's the call light, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome.